Now we're going to apply our law of exponential change uh, and how it relates to differential equations to this situation here. We have a uh, population of a little town growing at 5% per year. Writing a differential equation that expresses that fact, you have the rate of change. We'll use P for population. Rate of change of population, dP dt, equals some constant times the population. And we know what that constant is. It's 5%. The rate of change is 5% of the population. That's the differential equation that expresses that fact. We know from the law of exponential change that the solution to this differential equation is population is p0 e to the kt, 0.05t, and that P0, we happen to know here, is 10,000. So that's our solution. Now, I obviously skipped all the steps in between there because I've done it. If you look at the previous video, um, we can just use that shortcut there. That's a function you can use for population as it relates to time. It's the solution of that differential equation. If we wanted to predict the size of the population 15 years from now, we could do it a couple different ways here. We could just sub in our number, e to the 0 0.05, but we'll sub in here 15, right? And then just work it out on our calculator. Move that over there. So we've got 10,000 e power of. Now, on here you don't need to put brackets in there, but depending on the calculator you're using, you might need to use brackets here, times 15. If I hit enter there, 21,170. Stick with this, whoops, stick with the same color. 21,170, if I'm not mistaken, people. And if you want us to know how long the, how long it takes to double, and if you want to know how long it takes the population to double, let's uh, move it down a bit here so we have some space. How long it takes the population to double if we start with our solution equation, our function. 0.5t, we can just put in double the population over here, right? Sub in for that, double the population. Well, you could put 20,000 since we're starting at 10,000 and just keep the rest the same and solve it. e to the 0.05t. If you first step divide both sides by 10,000, right? You're going to end up with 2 equals e to the 0.05t. And if you want to solve that, if you want to isolate this, you can take the natural log here because that's going to cancel that out and you're just going to have 0.05t equals ln of 2. And give myself one more little bit of space here. t is going to be ln of 2 divided by 0.05. That, if we grab the calculator again, Uh, whoops, we have ln of 2, close that bracket, divided by 0 0.05, 13.86 years roughly, growing at 5%. All right, so that's how to do that. That's how to do those two things algebraically. Now you can, of course, use the graphing calculator or graphing software if you put the function in. All right, now. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to do that with a graphing calculator. Uh, if we graph the function here, so let's go over here. We're going to put in y equals 10,000 e power of 0 0.05, except I missed my 0, 0 0.05. Now you can put x on here when you're graphing, not t, even though that's what you mean. Now we have to set up, before we look at the graph, we have to set up the, the window. Now, I am going to go from 0 to, let's say 20 for the domain, number of years. Let's go by 5s here. For this, I'm going to go from 
I'm gonna use a maximum of 30,000 because you know I've already, we've already done it algebraically. We can see what the the solution there for both of those things, 20,000. We were working with and 21,000. I'm actually gonna start at negative 10,000, so I have some blank space underneath the axis, and then let's make the scale on that 5,000. So we can look at the graph then. Now an exponential function that is only growing at 5% it isn't too much of a curve. It's slightly curved there, of course. If we want to find the first one, the value after 15 years, we can say second on this particular piece of technology, second calc value at 15. See what it tells us, 21,170. If you want to do the other thing, which is, so this was finding a y value putting in an x value. It doesn't allow you to directly do it the other way. The only way you can do that is by putting in another function. If we want to know how long it takes to get to 20,000, we can put in a second value here of a second function of y equals 20,000, y2 equals 20,000. We can look at our graph. It's going to draw a horizontal line and we can find that intersection point and that'll tell us how many it is. You can use that calc menu again intersect, first curve, second curve, then our, there's our guess, there's our intersection point, 13,000, or sorry, 13, 13.86 13 years roughly to get to 20,000. Right, so that's kind of graphical confirmation of what you found algebraically, right, confirming it graphically. All right, that's it, that's an example of using that uh, law of exponential change, starting with a differential equation.